the beat. Ooh. We dedicate your temple like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lenient your royal priest. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like yeah. the Maccabees. <laughs> like the Maccabees. Lenient your royal priest. History, brother? A little bit. Native American? Yep. What you, what you know about your history? My grandmother, grandfather, they go back to uh, Blackfoot and uh, Cherokee. Okay, all praises. That's a powerful tribe right there. All praises yeah, to the most high. Right. Not everybody is from here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. And not everybody's from the motherland either. Yeah, we were already here. Some of us yeah, already here. We celebrate Thanksgiving? No, a little Oh, okay. Come okay, on, brother said. Nah, come on, brother. Come on, nah. Strong, some strong language. Nah. Read that. Get into that. Verse 16, curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. So understand, God said we will be cursed as a people, brother. The tribe of Gat, the Native American Indians was cursed as well. Why? Because they broke God's commandments. Let's see a commandment that the uh, Native Americans broke. Get Deuteronomy, I mean Numbers 15, 38. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. You know what fringes is, brother? No, I never heard the term. Fringes. If you ever seen, what's the movie? Jacob, take them to the picture right there. Oh, yeah, here go the picture right here. Come close real quick, oh, brother. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. You see these fringes they got down here? The Native yeah. Americans wore that, right? Yeah, yeah, At the bottom of their garments. Yeah. Read. And this is what we're supposed to wear today. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you got to put a ribbon of blue. You see how we got a ribbon of blue on our fringes right here? Yeah. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And do what? And do them. So it reminds you of the other commandments. Understand that. And the Native Americans always had these on. It's when they got to America that they stopped keeping the laws and commandments of the Most High God. Right. When the white man came and conquered us. Understand that. Conquered them, the Native Americans. Read. A lot of treaties. And that ye seek not. What'd you say, brother? They broke a lot of treaties. Broke a lot of treaties. treaties. You're right. You're right. But it's because of our sins, though. Read. They broke every last one of them, actually. What you got? Read that. Psalm chapter 55, verse 20. Bring it out. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Hold on, hold on. What the white man did? He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Why? Because y'all tried to make peace treaties with him. Yeah. Did they keep that? They didn't keep it. No, right? Read that one more time. My roommate's a cheat. Psalm chapter 55. What'd you say? My roommate, he's, our, he's a cheat. And they don't. We got, we got treaties that are old. Right? That they never kept. Never kept. Read. Yeah. Psalm chapter 55, verse 20. He has put forth his hands. Against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What he did? He have broken his covenant. He have broken his covenant. They never kept the treaties, brother, the peace treaties. They never kept anything, right, with the Native American Indians. Zero. Watch this, though. Hold that. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Hold on, read that one more time. The words of his mouth was what? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. They not come with peace. Christians. That's how they came as Christians, right? Read again. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Smooth. Y'all taught them everything they know. The Native Americans. They were smooth as butter. We come how, in peace. How to raise their cattle. Yep. Everything. everything. How to dress. How to bathe. I guess y'all later, man. But y'all. Hey, you got a flyer, brother? Yeah, oh yeah, I got one. It's a um, it's a number. Hold on, it's a number on the back of that flyer, right? And it's an um, address to where our school is at. Come to the school, brother. Deuteronomy 76. Let me listen to this before you walk off. They don't come in. But ignorance. Without ignorance. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So understand that, brother. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all people on the planet Earth. Yeah, but it's one thing, hold on, it's one thing we must do. We must come back to Matthew 19 and 16. 
is the kingdom of heaven. How you get to the kingdom of heaven? Watch this. Matthew chapter 19 verse 16 and behold one came and said unto him good master what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life and he said unto him so we asked him how to get the kingdom of heaven right watch this let's see what let's see what he told the young man this is Christ's words read and he said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is God but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. But if you want eternal life, do what? Keep the commandments. One more time. Keep the commandment. So, brother, you got to put the fringes on your clothes. That's right. You got to come back to your heritage. Get, get that in uh, Second Edges 7. I gave you a, a law for heritage. What that is? 1711. 721? 1711. 1711. Get that. Listen to this, brother. What you say, brother? You got going to get you some fringes? I gotta research yeah. What do you mean gotta, research? You gotta research first. It's one thing to hear it, but it's another to... What, what's it, what's it the research though? When the Bible says you gotta put fringes on your garments. I study everything. I'm, I'm my own critic. You're, you're your own critic. Your own critic. See, that's what's wrong with our people, though, brother. The Bible say, the Bible say, do this, but we think we smarter than the Bible now. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying research. All praises. Watch this, though. Watch this. I understand, brother. Watch this. Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. You see that, brother? He said he gave us what? Watch this. And he gave them the law of life for inheritance. So your heritage is fringes, brother. Right. That's your heritage. That's right. The Native American Indians, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Right. He said he gave them, read that one more time. Beside this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for inheritance. Uh -huh. He made an everlasting covenant with them. Hold on, he did what? He made an everlasting covenant with them. So we are required to keep the laws of this Bible. That's right. Understand that the black Messiah, guess what? God black, Jesus black, the angels black, everybody dark skin. Understand right. that. So don't take this Bible for granted. That's right. Everybody in this Bible look like us. Right. Understand that. Hold that. Give me a color scripture. Give me a color scripture. Just, just in case, just in case the people listening don't agree with what we saying. Let's get, let's get some uh, uh, color scriptures out the Bible. Let's see how they look. Read that. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Solomon, because the white man that played some uh, Bible movies and show everybody white, right? Let's see what color Solomon was according to the Bible. Read it. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all heard that? What, what color Solomon is? I am black. Solomon said himself, I'm black. Understand that. Solomon was a black man according to the Bible. I want to know what Job looked like. Let's get Job. Job 30 and 30. They, they think we're playing games out here. Let's see what color Job was. Read that. Bring it Job up. chapter 30 verse 30. Uh -huh. My skin is black upon me. Woo! Hold on. What Job said? My skin is black upon me. He said my skin is black upon me. Guess what? The people of this Bible is black. Yeah. Understand that. So-called black. Israelites, understand that. Hold that. What you got? Get Jeremiah. Let's see what color the real Jews are. Let's see what color the real... Because our people been lied to for far too long, but this Bible belongs to the so-called blacks and Hispanic people. Understand right. that. Let's get another color scripture. Read that. Let's see what color the real Jews are. Read that. Jeremiah, first. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. Why? Because our people in the, in the lowest conditions. So I'm hurt for the condition of my people, like the prophet Jeremiah is. Watch this. I am black. Hold on, what Jeremiah said? I am black. Guess what? Jeremiah, a black man too. Understand yeah. that we're not out here playing games. This is our book. Master. This is our heritage, our laws. Understand that. Read that. Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, uh -huh. and the gates thereof languish. They are black. Unto the ground. What color the Jews are? They are black unto the ground. Somebody get me the definition of ghetto. Somebody get me the definition of ghetto. I need that. Read that scripture again. Jeremiah 14. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. Guess what? The Jews are black unto the ghetto ground. Ghetto is a part of a city 
in which members of a minority group live. So uh, members of a minority group live, watch this, read, which is you so-called black and Hispanics, the minority, or they say we the minority, but God say we the sand of the sea, watch this. Typically as a result of social, legal, or economic pressure. The term was originally used in Venice uh -huh. to describe the part of the city to which Jews were restricted and segregated. Woo! Read that again. So this proving that you so-called blacks and Hispanics are the real Jews according to the Bible. Right. This is the definition of ghetto. Read. The term was originally used in Venice uh -huh. to describe the part of the city to which Jews were restricted and segregated. To which what? One more time. To which Jews were restricted and segregated. To which Jews were restricted and segregated to live in the ghetto. So yes, guess right. what? You so-called blacks and Hispanics are the true children of Israel according to the Bible. Yes, right. Guess what? Christ was a Jew. Understand that. Go back to Jeremiah 14 and 2 real quick. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth and against their own language. They are black unto the ground. The Jews are black. Understand that. Let's get, get um, Daniel 7 and 9. Now we're dealing with the Most High God, the Father, the Ancient of Days. Read that. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down and the Ancient of Days did sit. Hey brother, what's going on brother? He's an Hebrew Israelite at heart. At heart. But he said you cannot give, I'm going to quote you, you cannot give people the half of the truth. What's the half of the truth? What you mean, brother? Every, I'm listening. Every time you listen, I'm going to give you the words. 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 Okay, I'm listening. I'll do the first thing I can do. Right, right. 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 I know where you're going with it. I know where you're going with it, brother. Okay. We not niggas, brother. We, we Israel, Israelites. Israelites. We already gotta change our terminology, how we talk to each other too, man. Okay. Okay, you saying you saying about the name Jesus, right? Bro. How how do you get into the kingdom of heaven, my brother? Okay. How do you get eternal life? That's the question, right? You answer the question? Brother, listen. How do you get the kingdom of heaven? You gotta answer that question first. Listen with an open mind, bro. Listen with an open mind. This is what I'm get telling you. First Peter's 4 and 11. Listen, I'm telling you this shit on the camera. This is with an open mind. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Back in the G, what Israel said, we can go to our brothers and Levi. Offer this up. Boom. Okay, but when you got the son who lay his life down. Brother. He even come. You ask me a question, no matter. How you he get the kingdom of heaven, he brother? That's the question. The priests, the sacrifice, the and all of that, right? So, no man goes to the Father but by the Son. We well, already know that. Right, Jesus Christ. Now, as Paul said, they taking the truth of God and turned it into a lie. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is where I'm asking your question. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Study to show thyself approved. Right. A word not right. be ashamed. Right. Need to find the, the word, word of truth. truth. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, this is the trickery of Satan. Translation. Transliteration. Get uh, 1 Peter 4 and 11. Listen, bro. Listen. Read that. Hold on. Listen Hold on. Listen. Listen. Listen, bro, let me make my First point. Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. Translation. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability no, which see, God gives. Right the ability the which God gives. According to the scriptures, brother. Listen, according to the word of God, how do you get into the kingdom of heaven? 
you is knowing the name, no, is it, so it's about the ask, name. How you gonna ask me a question? You ain't answered according, according to the scriptures. I'm answering you according to the scriptures. Did he ask me according to the scriptures? Me what the scriptures say, what do the scriptures say about how do you get into the kingdom of heaven? No man get to the Father, but by the That's not, that's not what it is. Get that. Look what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you can't translate a name. You can't. It ain't a bro. name can only be translated. That name, right? brother, that name doctrine, we didn't heard it so many times, brother. We didn't heard that name. Get get uh Psalms 138 and 2. Go Psalms by, 138 and 2. Right, brother. You wanna go by the scripture? Right. Go by the scripture. We, we stick with this. Give us a scripture uh, and we'll listen to you. I ain't gonna even say the, the book. I'm gonna say the, the number. 412. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Watch this, read this. Why you walk out, read this, oh, listen to this. I'm talking about Acts 4 and 12. Psalms chapter 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple uh -huh. and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. So guess what? It's all titles we got out here. Nobody got the true name of God or Christ. Right. Nobody has the true name. So understand one thing. We gonna do what this Bible say do. Right. The name doctrine, we done heard it over and over again. All right? That, that's not how you get into the kingdom of heaven. Understand that. Read that scripture again. For, for people who think that it's only about the name, you have to know the name, the translation. Read that. Psalm chapter 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Guess what? The word of God is magnified above all of that. That's right. Because nobody has the true name whatsoever. Right. Matter of fact, hold that. You know what I want. When we going to get the name. Revelations chapter 3 and 9. That's what I want. 3 and 12. Read that. Revelation chapter 3 verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. You got to overcome. You got to overcome your sins. Right. You got to overcome the philosophies and the doctrines of America first. Right. Before right. you can even get the name. That's right. right. We don't understand why people come, come at by saying, oh, the translation. Uh, it's not Jesus Christ. It's only a title. Right. right. We only have titles right now. Right. Your name is only a title. Right. Understand that. Read that again. Him that overcometh. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Read. And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. Which is what? New Jerusalem. You still yelling about, oh, the translation. It's about the name. The name. When Christ come back, guess what? Matthew 7 and 23. Give me Matthew 7 and 23. This is, what God, this is what Christ gonna say to you in that day when you're trying to say when you're trying to say the name that you think you got for uh, Christ when nobody has the name. Right. Read Matthew chapter seven verse twenty three, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Christ gonna say I never knew you, and then he gonna say that's not my name. Right. right. Understand that. Read read that from twenty one. Matthew chapter seven verse twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in through the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. So, not him that say, Lord, Lord. Or whatever language you want to call the, um, the name of Lord in. And you don't have the name. It's a title anyway. But whatever ever language you want to say Lord in. Read. Many will say to me in that day. So, in that day, in the second coming. When it's time to die, many people gonna say what? Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? I thought I had the true name the whole time. Have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not spoken in your name? Read. And in thy name has cast out devils? We cast out devils in your name, Lord. We told people the true name, the true Hebrew name. We don't even speak the pure language. That's right. Understand that, read. And in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.